Hey guys, what's going on? It's Constantine, aka Smart Card Commentaries, and today I'm going to bring you guys a, another Black Ops free for all. Uh, total score was 30 and 4 using the famous Amos on Cracked. So uh, I've been actually loving Black Ops recently. Oh, hold on, let me fix my computer here. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so I've actually been loving Black Ops recently. Um, it's just like the the game style has changed, and uh, I highly just suggest you try it out again. Because uh, considering hardly anyone uses Ghost and Noob Tombs in Final Stand now, because all those bitches went to uh, oh, got a text. Because all those guys went to Modern Warfare 3, and um, so yeah. Anyway, I'd like to do a quick shout out to Red Bar Victory, where I actually posted like a parody of uh, the song "Niggas in Paris" by Jay Z. It's actually pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> link on the screen. I'll put on. But uh, really quickly, I just want to give a few channel updates. Uh, most importantly, I'd like to know if it's okay with you guys if I uploaded games other than COD, like Battlefield 3 or Little Big Planet, which is actually a really cool PS3 game. Um, so actually, I was thinking about doing this with my channel. Um, maybe Tuesdays would be games other than COD, and I would post like chill commentaries. I tell like awesome stories about like my life and stuff like that, and events that are happening. And um, Saturdays, I'd post the usual like. Um, COD gameplays with the interesting commentaries where you learn stuff, so uh, let me know what you guys think about that, if it sounds good to you, uh, but anyway, enough beating around the bush here, I'm just going to get right into the commentary, and that uh, today's theory is Cold Fusion, well not theory, but today's uh, the topic is Cold Fusion. So pretty much, um, Cold Fusion is, actually, let's start off with a definition kind of, I don't know if it's consider a definition but yeah okay ultimately um, the fuel you use for a reaction has to be less valuable than the product for it to be practical and effective uh, for example a common fuel that people tend to think of is gasoline now let's pretend we're using a car and gasoline the typical car cannot move without gasoline and this fuel is pretty expensive but its product the transportation uh, with the car is much more valuable to get this movement though we need to the fuel to be burned at a high temperature Gasoline-powered cars would stop being an effective method of travel if uh, gasolines were to s gasoline prices were to uh, skyrocket uh, to let's say twenty dollars a gallon, or if you're in, in Europe or uh, anywhere else in the world, um, to five dollars a liter. So um, the cost of taking the train, if it were to s if it were to stay significantly less than uh, the cost that it, it took to buy gasoline then traveling by car would become obsolete. But keep in mind here, like I'm talking about like um, major cities like New York City where every part of the city is pretty much accessible by, by train. And um, yeah, and pretty much the car's movement is what I'm talking about by being the product, like the energy produced by the, uh, by the gas being burned. I'm talking about the energy of the car uh, moving forward. So um, yeah, just it's kind of, that's kind of like a, a basic example. But, um, yeah, but in, in, um, uh, in today's world, the biggest creator of energy is actually new, t new blah, 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 blah. <laughs> today's biggest, uh, creator of energy is nuclear reactors. And, uh, they produce huge amounts of energy, but also have a couple downsides, like they require lots and lots of heat. Like, they, they only occur at an extremely high temperature, and they need lots of energy to be put into them to start the reaction, and they also need lots of, well, they don't need, they, they create lots of excess um, waste products. But um, the less energy you put in to catalyze the reaction, the more net energy is produced. Um, but if you hardly needed energy, so what if you hardly needed energy at all to produce heat? Um, there were actually two scientists named Fleischmann and Pons that uh, announced in the late eight, uh, 1900s, in 1989 specifically, that a nuclear reactor, a uh, nuclear reaction, I'm sorry, could happen at room temperature and take place in a little small area the size of a jar. And um, they, they announced this after performing an experiment where they uh, got the results, apparently, that they created... Uh, a nuclear reaction it at room temperature which is which is unheard of and if that, if that if that was possible that would just end all of the world's problems for um for energy because right now if you if you could put no energy in to and produce lots of excess energy you're done you don't need any other fuel sources and stuff like that and fossil fuels and 
all the problems are done. But uh, yeah, they were ridiculed for ju jumping to conclusions because it's just it was one like faulty test experiment, I guess not faulty, but like eh. it was proven wrong. They were proven wrong, and they were ridiculed, and they start still are ridiculed today. But uh, it really caught like the media's attention and really kicked off the idea of cold fusion. And now it's a, it's a pretty common idea where people think that, uh, or people are trying to achieve um, energy creation without putting energy in. Which, uh, just think about that. Like, if you could create uh, a nuclear blast without putting any energy in, then, um, yeah, I'm sorry that the, the recording kind of stopped there. So, um, I'm sorry I'm in a little rushed actually. I have to go somewhere in literally two minutes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, just, just think about that actually. And, um, so, just to, to sum it all up, pretty much, cold fusion is the idea that, um, you can create energy at extremely low temperatures, or, um, they're actually nuclear reactors called, uh, I think, uh, L-E, something like that, Learn, Lenner, or something like that, oh yeah, L-E-N-R, which is low energy nuclear reactors, and, um, the lower they, if they can reduce the energy significantly, then that will increase the amount of, uh, of, um, of, that would increase its practicality. So, um, pretty much that's about it, guys. Um, the cold fusion theory, I hope you guys learned something from that. If you have any questions about it, um, I can hopefully answer them for you. Just, uh, leave a question in the comments or send me an inbox and I will explain it for you more in depth and, um, as always, guys, this is Constantine. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a rating. And as always, and look at this, look at this nice final kill cam here. As always, I ask you guys to leave a rating and then uh, comment, giving me future ideas for future videos because it always helps. And let me know what you guys think of past of uh, doing the Tuesday commentaries. And if you saw up to this point, leave a comment saying um, flag.